Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Hockey Classics. Germany take on Pakistan in the second match of the Samsung Champions Trophy 2007. The Germans will be eager to get back to their winning ways through this tournament after failing to live up to the expectations in the European Championship. On the other hand, Pakistan are trying to build a side and work its way back in the top. Captain Salam Akbar would be hoping that his new-look team will turn the corner in the Champions Trophy. So let's join action in the match featuring Pakistan Youth Brigade and German experience. Players underway between Germany and Pakistan. Pakistan in their traditional green shirts, white shorts, attacking the goal to the left of screen. But I'll let you carry on with that now. Well, yeah, the interesting phase. I mean, the Germans surprisingly missed out on qualification for the Olympics, so they've got to struggle in Japan next year to uh, make sure of their Olympic place. And then, of course, at the time they missed out, they were the number one ranked team in the world, so that was an extraordinary event. Pakistan just made it to the Olympics by virtue of their third place finish, but uh, certainly some of their, controversially, some of their very best players not here, so this is a real test of their younger group. A couple of 18-year-olds, a couple of 19-year-olds in their team and uh, surprising to see, but probably they're quite good and uh, we'll, get a, we'll get a feel of that in this game tonight. Here's Timo Vess, Germany's captain. Sebastian Biedelak, Moritz Furster. Great ball through for Germany's... Oliver Henschel, not able to do anything with it in the end. Well, he made the trap, but just couldn't get it back. It was a pretty, pretty sharp ball. Did well to get there, but couldn't finish it. There's Dilawa, as traditional a left half as you will see. Well, he's a pretty solid player in their defence. He needs to play well. He can do more than that, too. He, he often ventures forward. He's a very good player, Dilawa. Zishan Ashraf. to Muhammad Imran. Toss over the top, looking for Shaquille Abassi. The defender gets the free hit. First up, surrounded by green shirts. Shows his on for Abbas once again. Puts the arm in fairly blatantly. Yes, <laughs> no doubt about that. Bit too eager. Vakas actually got the ball and had a break. He probably could have gone himself, but he made the pass. His gun's far. He can penetrate. Well done by Moore coming out of defence. Keller. Corn. Can he get it past the goalkeeper? Yes, he can. Great effort. Wasn't overly skillful, but it was determined, Rick. Well, he knew what he was doing. Here's the pass. Falls to him. He picks it up, and then he dives and knocks it over the goal. He meant to do that, and that's clever. It was a pretty good finish. But it wasn't, uh, it wasn't perfect stick-on-the-ball stuff. He knocked it into the space, dived after it. Probably shouldn't have been so much space. I think uh, Akbar really should have come, waited in a goal, and he paid the price. Oliver Korn, a uh, youngish member of this German team, 23 years of age, just his 23rd international match for Germany. And that's the sort of thing that Marcus Weiss will be looking for from his younger brigade. Gazanfar tried to run forward with the ball in and lost it and, and uh, looked like he was struggling to get back. And really, that, uh, that's dangerous. But it's, I think it's going to be a problem for this Pakistani team. Some of the senior players trying to almost do too much. And when they do, they get caught out. And Germany are very good on the counter. And speaking of senior players, we mentioned during the introduction that Germany have a couple of their senior players missing from this. The two Zeller brothers, Philip and Christopher, Bring those back into this team, and you've got a mighty potent strike force. With well, Christopher Zeller up the front. Philip Zeller is a very resolute defender. In my opinion, Christopher Zeller is arguably one of the very best players in the in the in the world now, and uh, certainly he gives them penetration, goal scoring, corners, a whole bunch of stuff. And he and his brother 
would be significant players in this team. Bristol has just finished the season in the uh, in the Dutch league, the Hoof Class. Just to uh, hone his skills, this is Carlos Navarro. Cracked across, nobody there. The pass across that time from Corn. There's Navarro. Carlos Navarro. Spanish father, German mother. Speaks about six languages and plays a pretty good game of hockey. Certainly does. When that ball went across, Florian Keller really should have been there again. That's not a bad ball. Well done and just couldn't be controlled. But clever pass over the defender. You've got to be able to control those balls. In modern hockey, those aerial balls are critical and being able to catch them and keep them on the run is important. Talking to his assistant in the stands, his assistant, an Australian, Andrew Meredith. Bison born. Clever turn. Get away from Adnan. Gave himself some space. And played straight on to Adnan's stick. His Anfa goes outside the youngster in Asfal Mohammed playing his first international. <laughs> Navarro, bit of space. Beautifully finished. Furster was on the end of it, but the man who set it up was Florian Keller. Beautifully done. Novato, Keller, Furster there to finish. Well, there's a little breakaway in the middle, and here it is. Lovely pass, well finished. Could have shot, but uh, he was clever enough to make the pass. It was a perfect pass, and that's the quality that you need to finish. Works his way in. Finished off by Keller. He set one up and scored one a minute later. Well, and that's a just reward, isn't it? Wonderful finish. There's the pass. Too much space. And from this angle, he hit it beautifully and hard. And uh, that is a great goal. I think it's, yes, through the goalkeeper's legs. <laughs> and made comment about that earlier it's just as hard to get the one that's going straight at you as the one you have to reach for he hit it very hard he was well into the circle he set up the previous goal he was unselfish so there's a just reward Twelve and a half minutes to go in the first half, and it is in danger of becoming a bit of a rout. Pakistan need to pull one back, but more than anything else, they need to regain control of the midfield. Well, they have some moments, and they look dangerous, and there's some nice stick work and a bit of penetration, but where's the shot at goal? Have we seen a shot at goal from Pakistan yet? I'm not sure. And uh, the hard bit in hockey is getting in there and finishing. They don't really have that quality. Tackle by Muller. Afzal went in a little hard. 
they often win the one-on-one, -on -one, the Pakistanis, but these days, most teams tackle with numbers. They get numbers around you if you hold the ball for too long, and therefore, even though you beat one, you get tackled, lose it for the second one, and then there's a quick counter-attack. It's the counter-attack, counter-attacks from the middle that have been hurting Pakistan. Sajid Anwar. Good house, thought he was away with that. Came off his foot. Well, you don't want to put your hand up just in case the umpire doesn't see it. That one was very obvious, though. Adnan. Sajid. This is Muhammad Imran up from fullback. Another chance for Afsad. And there we saw an example, some nice stick work by Afsad. He, he, he turned them a couple of times, but in the end he didn't go anywhere because there were a number of Germans there and one of them eventually got him. Wakas stopped by Vess. Here's Withaus. Pursued by Gazan Farali. Plays it back to Henschel, who wins the free hit. And that uh, centre from the Pakistanis is another example. They whacked the ball hard into the circle, but the German was just waiting to trap it. That pass has to be a pass to one of their players into the circle, not just a hit and hope. Nicely kept in by uh, Dragoon, Sebastian Dragoon, but no support for him. <laughs> he did all the work for the Pakistani defender. Henschel strong over the ball, a bit house it was. This is Henschel. Couldn't get away from Kashif. It's been a pretty sharp performance by the Germans, and, and this would be pleasing for them because uh, without Zeller they still look very potent at the front if you add him to the equation then they really have some firepower Shakela Bassi he's very quick he's a very good player but he's all by himself most of the time it's a fairly persistent defending by uh, Bisonborn Kept the pressure on. There's a stick check just outside the circle. And a dangerous tactic that time by Tobias Halkett. Could easily have given away a penalty corner. Sajid. Found the deflection and the foot. Goal is scored. The umpire, Jed Curran, allowed the advantage. And the man on the spot was Wakas. Waka Sharif pulls one back for Pakistan. Well umpired. Well, there's the hit into the circle. Hit it. Looked like it hit a foot. I don't think it did. It was just play on. Ooh, it might have even hit a Pakistani foot. And that's why the Germans weren't happy. But it looked like it had hit a foot. Pretty well done by the young player. He stayed on the ball. He didn't stop. It's a goal. So Pakistan breathed some life back into this game. Perhaps a little lucky in the circle. It's what you make of it. Well, he's been lively on the right wing, Wakas. He's, uh, he's only 19 years old, but he's played 30 or 40 matches. He's not Ray and Butt, of course, but uh, he is uh, he's lively. And he wanted the goal there, and he's got one. First up. Pushed out over the sideline by Kashif. Timo Vess. What a ball. Defenders free hit. That ball thrown over the top is not dangerous of itself, but 
if an attacker closes in and doesn't give a defender a chance to play it the umpire will give the free hit to the defender and that was a that was a difficult one because the, the defender was a fair way away the attacker was had position early but if the umpires are consistent then the players will know what's going on and uh, that's fine well controlled Shabir. Shabir. Akhtar, back to Shabir. Tackled by Mullet. First. As Novato making a move on his left, and that's a third man obstruction, not paid. Novato bundled the defender off the ball. Well, that's a, stra a strange decision, isn't it? Yep. Oliver Korn scored the first goal. Tyson Vaughan has been quiet for the last 10 minutes or so. Nicholas Minot. Well, just Beadalak who got the stick on it. Well over the top. Could have been dangerous though. Just hit the ball hard into the circle. He got the deflection, went over the net. But a half chance and those half chances you've got to be weary of. And that's the end of the first 35 minutes, an eventful 35 minutes with four goals scored. Oliver Korn, Moritz Furster and Florian Keller for Germany. The reply from Waka Sharif for Pakistan. And at halftime, Germany lead Pakistan by three goals to one. Chance for Pakistan. Shaquille Marcus put away by Shabir. Pounced on the loose ball while the German defence was cut to ribbons once they got across the 23 metre line. Lovely play. And this is the man who made it. That's the pass. Knocked across, hit the foot, let the play on. Shabir just tucked it in. They're the sort of goals that you love to have. Well played, Shaquille Abassi, though. It was his movement that made the goal. Meinhardt took it on the foot would have been a penalty corner better to have Shabir knock it in game on 3-2 thanks to Shabir Khan well they were much better at the beginning of the half Germany but now Pakistan have got one back and are getting some momentum and some support, have a good finish. The, some support from the crowd as well you can tell whose side they're on well it's been quite an interesting game hasn't it because it's been end-to-end -end stuff now Normally, normally Germany wouldn't like that but because they got three goals up they got confident now Pakistan are pinning them back good house but as you rightly pointed out David the Pakistanis are working pretty hard at the front and they're just pressuring enough to force some errors Florian Keller Benjamin Bess Stopped by Zishan. Very good tackle. Kashif tidies up over the sideline. Shabir is doing a power of work in the middle there. Good touch from Vithouse. Henschel not quite ready for it. First. And it was Shabir's chase that caused the error there. And Pakistan get the ball back. It's the work of those ones at the front that are making the difference. Some worries there for Marcus Weiser, who had his team 3 0 up after just 22 minutes. Now back to 3 2. Keller, danger. 
Vitt was there and finishes it off. He got a second bite at it. Salman Akbar got the pads down, but it just dribbled straight back to Vitt. Well, here's the break. And Keller, good pass again. Should have been finished there. Lucky to get another chance. And he knocked it in. Keller does well. Should have finished there. Untidy defending and second chance. You don't often get that. Philip Vitt, the goal scorer, number three. Germany lead by four goals to two after 51 minutes. A little bit of breathing space. Well, if you get four against you, it's damned hard to win in Pakistan. They've done some good things, but four against is the problem. Double again, Henschel forces the corner. Hauker, Tobias Hauker. Not a good ball, Zeeshan, equally not good. Hauker gets another chance. Keller. Just off the feet of Adnan. German ball again. Well, the reason Keller's dangerous is because of the quality of his interventions. He doesn't get the ball a lot. He's not a prolific sort of ball getter. But his finish is good. Bit again, straight at the goal.